Let me weave you a sad tale. You're young Nuwazid and Siddiqui. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, and yes. You're so excited for your big part. And you're an and, assistant on this huge film. And you, you get to act with one of your acting legends, your and you, heroes. And you show up show, on opening night. You're wearing a you're nice all dressed suit. up. And they cut you. And what does he say in his car? <laughs> Marachos. <laughs> Back to our stupid rags, the idiots of Corbin. I'm Rick. He follows Instagram, it's Twitter, 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 Anyways, today obviously we're doing a movie review of the, uh, the yeah, it was shot in multiple languages. We watched the Tamil version because mm -hmm. that's, uh, I mean, I know they shot it in Hindi and Tamil, but Kamal Hassan's language is, is natural language is Tamil. And so we wanted to make sure we watched it in that language. Um, and so, yeah, we, yeah, we so this saw, counts as the playlist for Tamil. Yes. Yep. Um, even though there was Tamil, there was Hindi and there was English. There was, and there was a little Bengali in there yeah. with, with Ronnie McCurdy. Because obviously they were, it was all over the place yeah. in terms of, uh, where they were in India at the time. So yeah. regardless, it came out to almost 22 years ago. Uh, -huh. uh, it's a long time. Uh, so obviously it's going to be a complete spoiler review. Uh, if you haven't watched it, we saw it on Amazon. If you have a uh, five hours to <laughs> <laughs> Just go give it a watch. Uh, if not, uh, we will spoil you here. But it was directed, uh, written, produced, produced, starring the Kamal Hassan. Uh, that's that's a lot of hats to take on, man. Yes, it is. That is a lot of hats. But also starring a bunch of other people. Yeah, uh, a few, few names you may or may not have heard obviously, of. Obviously, Kamal Hassan is the lead and the one that is in the majority of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, Shah Rukh Khan... Uh, Ronnie McCurgy, mm -hmm. uh, Nasseruddin Shah, mm -hmm. Om Pori, mm -hmm. uh, and then there was also, say that, uh, Vandara Das, who we just saw in Monsoon, we just Wedding. Saw in Monsoon Wedding, and then there was a whole bunch of other people, there was a lot, of, it's a long film, and there's a lot, a lot of, of people. people in this, and they cut Nawazuddin and Siddiqui, I would like to see that scene one day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> regardless, uh, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Well, I'm... I wonder how the stupid family's thinking about our reaction to this because we've been talking about getting introduced to Kamal Hassan for a mm -hmm. long, long time because he's yeah. a legend in Indian cinema. Yeah. The, the first introduction we had to a film of his... We did not enjoy it. He was the only thing we liked in the yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we didn't love it. No. We were just like, okay, so this was like redemption time. This yeah. is either going to bring us to a place where maybe we're going to see what everyone else has seen mm -hmm. or we're going to go off the, the wayward tracks. Yeah. Drum roll. I love this movie. <laughs> I absolutely love this movie. That's good. Yeah. I I ended up enjoying this film. Like overall, which is surprising. There are a lot of problems with this film. Okay. But it did not spoil my enjoyment of this film. That's what I want to say. Cool. Because uh, like I... I even said in the halfway point, because I watched this in two parts. Surprisingly, mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be more parts than that. Mm -hmm. Right. I stopped at the interval. Yeah. And then I, I and we, then kept going. We started at night, and then we started it again the next day. Um, but I was like, I'm actually really enjoying this film, even though there was aspects of it that I just, I would have done differently. But also, I did give it a lot of grace in terms of when it came out. Absolutely. <laughs> um, <laughs> but overall, I did really enjoy I, I enjoyed the epicness of it. And I enjoyed, it felt at times Indiana Jones-ish, right? Very. <laughs> it, it, Which it I enjoyed felt, that part. It has the same scope of epic magnum opus that like Lawrence of Arabia yeah, has. Yeah, totally. It reminded me, and since I'm saying that, I read up, and you probably did too, about mm -hmm. the uh, what happened with the creation of the score. Yeah. This score is mm -hmm. magnificent. Yeah. So we'll get in, we'll get into absolutely all of it. Uh, what we what we enjoyed, what we didn't enjoy. But let's start with the acting. Yes. So obviously, um, 
you, if you saw the last Kamala Khan film, I don't. It was called Abe Ab, uh, something something. It was. Um... And that's not because we're disrespecting the title. There's a lot of films that happen with us for an Indian film that the the name is done in the language of the film, and then it's, it's hard nearly impossible for us to remember it because we don't speak the language. So we just remember it like the Necklace film yeah. or the Deborah film. <laughs> yeah. So so uh, that one obviously we did not enjoy at all. Not at all. Um, this ugh, so so I would watch this. I would watch oh, this again. This is night and day yeah, comparison. Yeah, exactly. So let's talk about Kamal Hassan. I thought he did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. I really, really enjoyed his performance. It was very nuanced from the starting and taking us on this very long journey of this guy. Yep. Uh, of, uh, of this character who has a massive arc and also a, a very sad story. <laughs> Incredibly, uh, but sad. also I want to. Uh, we'll get into his directing in a minute as well. But I want to commend him for, for one, trying to play this character who, for the long time, I because I didn't. I don't know the story of how Gandhi was assassinated. Oh, so I didn't okay. know if it was this guy or not. Ah, good. So yeah, so I was like, is he going to play the assassin? Because right. one, I love that. I love when people play characters that aren't supposed to be main characters. Well, and for what it's worth, I didn't know either because. Yeah. Um, I don't know the backstory on the man who who killed Gandhi other yeah. than he was Hindu. Yeah, yeah. And I thought for a while, oh, wow. I knew it was fiction. And I thought, oh, wow. Are they going to mm. give us an, like a story about maybe what this guy's story was about? So yeah. I, too, wasn't exactly sure what yeah. his outcome was going to be, even though I know mm -hmm. the end of what happened to, to Gandhi. Yeah. yeah. But I thought his performance was incredibly nuanced. It definitely took you on a journey, and even though I think it's long, and you definitely could have cut some stuff. Oh sure. It didn't bother me as much as I thought. Kind of like Lagan, uh, even though good comparison. Even though I, I think that's an overall better film, but there's this. It, the length didn't bother me as much as I thought it was going to bother me. Right. Uh, like I, th I was surprised. I was like, I was able to get two hours in. It's and like, I was like I'm excited to start it again tomorrow. Exactly the same way I feel about Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence yeah. of Arabia is very long, and it feels like a long film, but it doesn't bother you. Yeah, you you, you were like, okay, this is going to be a while, but I I actually am not bothered in any way about it. Um, the I two things about his performance. The first one is you this film did everything I was hoping it would do in terms of showing me what everyone's been saying about Kamal Hassan. Yeah. They've been saying this is one of the greatest actors in Indian history yeah. and that his capacity as an actor is up there with any of the names yeah. that we talk about. We just haven't been exposed to it yeah, yet. It's our second film of his. And I, I saw believability. I mm -hmm. saw him in the moment. Mm -hmm. I saw him thinking. I saw him feeling, not trying to muster up feelings. And let's talk about the physical transformation he oh, goes through. Massive. He basically, in this film, covers every physiological place he could be in, mm -hmm. from massively bulked up to freaking emaciated. Yeah. Uh, I would love to know that story alone, about the sequencing of the filming and what he did to himself physically to become this man yeah, at that, in all of these stages of his life. At that moment where it was that, whatever green screen they had, and it was obviously a very, um, when he took off his shirt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the dude is massive. He got massive. <laughs> and his whole, uh, when he renounces and he goes into the water, I'm mean, like, you got massive. You got he really, really up. big. It's truly, uh, uh, this is on par for me as far as physical transformation mm -hmm. as De Niro and Raging Bull. Mm. Going through a drastic physical transformation. Yeah. If people were to say to me, what for you? Are some of the roles in your mind where you watched actors in one film go through a massive physical transformation? Yeah. It's obviously it's De Niro in Raging Bull. Tom Hanks went through a major transformation for Castaway. This would be for me right at the forefront of my mind of watch watch what Kamal Hassan does physically. Yeah. What he goes through in this film. Absolutely. While he's helming it as the producer and the director. That's a lot of hats. Freaking crazy. One one, it's it's difficult enough to to act. Uh, and, and, and do this type it's something of role. this big yeah and this is a and, and he's carrying it this is a massive Indiana Jones style yeah. in terms of action and the practical which we'll get into um, but it's a massive film I think at the time it was one of the biggest films out of India it's absolutely huge um, and so to do that acting is one thing but to also take on the directing writing and the producing hat Herculean that art. is that's, that's a, insane that's a Herculean achievement in in artist in cinematic yeah. artistry, I want to talk about uh, uh, everyone else. Yeah, 
Uh, Ronnie McCurdy is quickly becoming one of my favorites, man. I want to see everything she's done because every single time we've seen Black, I think was the first thing, right? Yeah, that's well, our first and introduction. Her she was black. really, really good in that. Yeah. And then what was the what was the last thing we saw her in that was at um, what was it called? Ah, what was it? It's recent. Yeah, it was recent. What was it? <sighs> Crap. Ah, I can't. I don't know why I can't remember it. You know why I can't? Because I'm. Uh, uh, that was immediately overshadowed by Tilatoma films. Oh yeah. So uh, um, it's, it's, it's a Talash. That's it. Talash with yes. uh, Amir Khan. Yes. But yes, I want to explore her a lot more because she kills every role she's been in so far. She's yeah. absolutely been like incredible. She reminds me. She's a very different kind of actress, but the impressiveness and the way that she's becoming more and more impressive is like Tilatoma. Tilatoma. Yeah. yeah. Um, I really enjoyed her performance. I really enjoyed what Kamal Hassan did with their relationship. And I am so grateful for two things he did, mm. and this is parting into the direction we'll get into, but with the relationship, both with this wife and, and his second one, yeah. wife, he, he did stuff, and this is 20 years ago, yeah. he did stuff both with the violence mm -hmm. and the sexual content that was very, very edgy. Absolutely. And I applaud him mm -hmm. because it made the film far more believable, and real to life, and deeply, yeah. deeply intimate. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I really enjoyed what he did because they, they had a deep, loving relationship. It was beautiful. And, I believed them. Like, there was like they, them. <laughs> I think he said, I'm going to have you for dessert. <laughs> which uh, was, is a great line. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Um, but so they had that whole... And when he's playing the piano and she's down underneath <laughs> under the piano, I'm like, heck yeah, come on. Me and my wife were watching that and we're like, oh, ooh, look at that. that. That's under Honda Hun <laughs> level five. <laughs> <laughs> so I love what he did with the performance. And also, he did not shy away. He, it shocked me when obviously she was being raped, right, by all these people, which yeah. was awful. Yeah. An awful, awful, awful scene. But then when he came in and she was literally gushing, gushing blood out of her neck. And I was like, damn, yep. I loved it. one. I, not that I loved that she died. It was very sad. I was like, I was no. hoping she was going to be in more of the movie. Yeah. But it shocked me that, that at that time, that's what they showed. And it's a great example of why that kind of thing is necessary mm -hmm. because I appreciate in his direction that he didn't show us the right. We heard it. that's all yeah. we needed. I don't. I really have a hard time with rape scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, a lot of audience members can be triggered by it yeah, because sure. some are victims of it, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like his direction, among other places, and we'll get into, was really well done in that. And the, the shock factor of this beautiful relationship and him looking down and his response to, there's nothing I can do to save her. Yeah. The graphicness of that was everything you needed to see in that moment. And for me, that had a little extra sense of the personal because you're always imposing your own what if I was in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, if that was me, my, my I know what I would do. Yeah. And I would I would do what he did. I would get weapons and I would just go kill everybody I could who I yeah. thought was responsible. Yeah. I would do what he did. Absolutely. Yeah. You can definitely empathize with him uh, in that moment. And so I thought it was incredibly brilliant what he did with the directing and obviously him and Ronnie McCurdy. I thought they, were, they had great chemistry. Uh, on on screen, um, so I, I as love... did I thought she did a beautiful job. Um, we were just talking about yeah. Um, I was going to talk about her. Um, sorry, I'm getting back to her here. Das Das, forgive Who, me for not knowing your name. We, right if off you the haven't bat. seen the Monsoon Wedding, Basundara. there were four people that we talked about in there that we didn't love. Mm -hmm. I thought even though we didn't love her, she was the best of the ones that I thought didn't do a great yeah. job. She did a phenomenal job. She was much better. Than she this. did so so well. So and I think this was. Early. Before, yeah, this that, was before monsoon. That wedding, the, that that one. So, she definitely has one. She is just like in that one. She has great screen presence. Mm -hmm. uh, her beautiful, beautiful eyes. But I thought she did a great nuanced performance in this. And and being the second wife, and yeah, wanting that affection from your husband. And, it, and it's a beautifully written character, and you really empathize with her. And you also, un, you can empathize with him. I loved Kamal's approach to the character, where he didn't, you didn't. You understood where he was coming from. It wasn't like, wow, why are you being so mean to this sweet girl? It was, man, this is so hard for both of them. Mm -hmm. I hope they can get past this because this is really hard for both of them. And I love when she finally gets him to smile for a second. And mm -hmm. she says, you smiled? And he said, I did. She says, yeah, and you just smiled again. Um, also, Kamala Sun looks way better with a beard. You think everybody <laughs> looks better <laughs> with a beard. He looks great with a beard. Um, and I felt that 
pretty much everybody across the board. You know who else I thought had a beautiful moment? <laughs> uh, we've seen him a gazillion times. This guy right here? Um, uh, yes. Yeah, I thought they The moment in the car. When he finally sees him after several years and he discovers that his buddy is basically homeless now. Yeah. I thought, and, and Kamal did something really beautiful. It's, it's, here's something that shows you the capacity of Kamal Hassan and uh, when you see little things. They're having that moment and Sarub Shukla is having his moment and a tear goes down his cheek. And Kamal, out of his compassion for his friend in the moment with the character, just reaches up and wipes the tear. Yeah. I thought that was beautiful. Yeah, and I thought it was, you really felt it because he was like, I think he said something along the lines of, you're from North India, you wouldn't understand. And yes. Kamal just very subtly says, no, I understand. I get it. I understand. And it yeah. was a beautiful, beautiful moment because this film, Obviously, it has a ton, I think, a ton of messages, but obviously... Yeah, the, which we'll get, we'll probably close with that. The, the messages between, you know, Hindus, Muslims, yes. and, and, and all different parts of India, and... But I thought, uh, so, uh, let's see. Oh, I thought, uh, Nasser Shah, of course. I thought he played a great Gandhi. Yeah, I, and I, I read something, I read two things about the Gandhi aspect of the film, meaning particularly when Nasser is on screen, uh, that a couple of people didn't like his portrayal of Gandhi, and I'm not exactly sure why. And then secondarily, I thought this was a really beautiful thing that Kamal Hassan did. Because I, I picked up on it. I know the story well enough about Gandhi that I know what Gandhi's last words were when he died. He had last words when he was shot. Yeah. And they didn't depict it that way in the film. Mm -hmm. And I read that Kamal specifically chose to not depict it exactly the way it was done, to let everybody know, once again... This is a work of fiction. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to tell you a literal telling. Yeah. I'm just giving you an idea of what may have happened if this happened. Yeah. And I thought that was a really uh, smart, intelligent, sensitive, right thing to do in every way. Because when you're, I'll harp on this constantly, when you're telling a true story, you should be exact. Yeah. But this from the get-go is a work of fiction. Yeah. And it makes it a point to just do a little twist to let you know I know what I'm doing isn't the real story. Yeah, it was very uh, similar to a lot of stories that are done here of alternatives to the gay JFK assassination. Right. So, like, was there another person with grassy knoll? Right, was right, there... right. So they, it's, it's very similar to something like that. They, they make up this character and put him in this, like, oh, I guess that, yeah, that could have happened. Yeah. And so that's that's really what this was doing. Uh, what did you think of Shah Rukh Khan? Um, first of all, I heard that there was flack and it was justified that Kamal had put posters up all over Mumbai with Sh Shah Rukh Khan's face all over it. And he's barely supporting, he's barely supporting. Um, and I also heard that he was in total awe yeah. on set of Kamal. Kamal. In the same way that like Pacino was in awe of Brando in The Godfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I thought, I thought he did a very solid job. He had a couple of moments, this is really minute criteria, where in the climactic scene, the last 20 minutes, he had a couple of moments that seemed forced. Well, yeah, but it, I did give him a little leeway because this is coming right off the 90s of 90s melodramatic. That's why when I say I'm, Khan. it's, it's yeah. small. I, I saw that well, as well. And I let it pass. I was like, this is like a little, a little too over dramatic there for, Just for little, everyone else being very, on. very small. But agreed. Yeah. He's coming out of being the Bollywood guy, right? In yeah. the stereotypical kind of things that he yeah. does into a like, really deep... Like him dying and, and shaking. I was like, okay, that's that's a little much. Right. A little much there, Shah Rukh Khan. Just a little bit. <laughs> but I... That's being hypercritical. Yeah, he's... Uh, he, he, I kind of gave him a, a little leeway, but I did enjoy all the songs in this as well. Oh, man. Uh, the beginning song was really fun. Uh, and the score. The score of this was great. And the other thing about the directing, and we could go on and on about the score, I also want to mention acting-wise... Who was the guy who played his buddy who uh, sees him right afterwards and kind of recruits him and makes him the one to go kill Gandhi and gets paralyzed? We've seen him before. Yes, we have. And I thought he was solid. Um, clearly an actor who understands the power of stillness because he consistently had an intensity about him that was derived solely from the kind of a, a, a... Do you remember his name? Richard Burton level of just stillness on screen. Do you remember his name? I don't. I would if I heard it. Hmm. Yeah, but, I, I thought he did a really good job, too. right? He was solid. Yeah, the, the one that was trying to recruit him. Uh, yeah. He, he, I thought he did a really good job. I think everybody in this film did a really good job. There was some, there was some supporting characters who I did not 
did not appreciate very much. <laughs> the white British guy oh. at the end who was like, it was a Hindu who did it. Now we have to do this. So who did it? It was yeah. a Hindu. I was hoping it was. Thank God. Yeah. It's like, oh. It was the end and the beginning. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I hated the ending. The, uh, the way it ended? No, the, the way it ended with going to the black and white characters, the, the son and then the grandson of Gandhi. Yeah, Gandhi no, I hated in the it. House? Really? I, didn't, I didn't care about them at all. I thought they could oh. have actually scrapped that entire black and white thing. I really liked it. I did. I like. I don't think it was necessary. You could have told this story, and I could have oh, already told wow. you. I didn't need the current to date. I thing. loved. I loved him going through the pictures and summarizing, and how when the credits rolled up, they were in the room, and that. No, that I think his that Kamal Hassan's character that he he had kept the the shoes and the glasses. No, I kind of thought it was care. cool. I didn't care at all. Uh, I was like, it could have been much it. more powerful if you ended on Kamal Hassan. Uh, like, I think maybe right after the assassination or whatever Kamal Hassan's point ended on a, a, at that time, I think that would have been much more powerful. Well, and one last thing about the direction. I saw in this what we've heard from people, and we saw, didn't we see like a highlight thing of Kamal Hassan's acting roles and how uh, in it we were told he's always wanted to be on the cutting edge of everything? Yeah, yeah. I saw in this film, in his direction, Yeah. this film is different. It is unique. As much as it feels like the spectacle of a Lawrence of, of Arabia, it also has this very experimental, almost Stanley Kubrick in a yeah. way, kind of uh, usage of just becoming surreal at yeah. moments. I, it's one of my favorite parts about this film is the sets and the big action that he decided to add in this. Stunt crew. Yeah, absolutely. Stunt work. like. I harbored into Indiana Jones because Indiana Jones, it's, it's old school uh, Steven Spielberg, essentially, right? Everything is practical. They're all on actual right. sets. Right. And then uh, all the explosions are practical around you. And, and the stunt work is practical. Yeah. Guy falls down the stairs. Yeah. And, or like they, there's something on fire, like they, they'll actually put a fire on the set here. It's not CGI, uh, CGI anything like that. I enjoyed that part of it. it I think it... It harkened back to old school uh, filmmaking, which well, I, I really enjoyed. And it was a little Tarantino-y because what, what he went out of his way to do was on gunshots. He did two things with a lot of the gunshots. He made sure that there was some pullback on those bodies for some recoil, mm -hmm. as well as backsplash. <laughs> sometimes, Heads would explode. Sometimes back a little too wall. much, like the guy that got shot off of the, uh, the motorcycle and then flipped three times in the air. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so Sometimes, obviously, there was stuff like that, but I was like, I... Like, since that's the world that they built, I was like, I, I get it. Yeah. I enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, that happened in Indiana Jones. Nobody blinked an eye. True, but, <laughs> true. And so it's, I was like, if you build this world, I was like, I'm, I'm here for it. I thought he did a phenomenal job in the beginning with the, the um, riots in, in, in uh, Calcutta. Or it was, it was Calcutta, right? Yeah, there were two. The opening in Calcutta. Like, it was, and then br the, it was the, brutal. The fighting sequences with rioting reminded me of some of the epic mob free, uh, sequences in Bombay, mm -hmm. which were huge and they were brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, I love that aspect of it, of the, yeah, the I love, big I just love sets, movie. The, 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 the fun um, action. It, 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 that was, I, I really, really enjoyed that. I, there was, like I said, I did not enjoy any of the black and whites, really. I was like, I didn't see the point of it. No, I did. The we could go on and on. I, I did. Tired time. I didn't like that's how they ended it on characters that you just met and don't care about. I don't. Yeah, but see, you don't. You may not. You may not care about them and see them. But I found like one of the most poignant and touching, and emotional moments was him looking up at the nurse and who he sees is his wife. Mm. I loved that. Mm. No, uh, <laughs> I did not enjoy any of that, that, oh, that part. And I had one one last thing that we we haven't touched upon, which are some of the messages of the film. Oh yeah. And I particularly liked, it could have so easily been very heavy handed or melodramatically cliche. But when, right before Gandhi's assassinated, mm -hmm. he wants to come and confess. Yeah. And he wants to open up and show him, I've had this gun and I was gonna use it to kill you. And then just a few moments later, he's killed and he's going to understandably kill him, but doesn't showing us the message not only that he has come through this full arc of recognizing the the, the complete and total degradation of vengeance mm -hmm. and how 
the that violence just begets more violence. And in a, in a moment where he would ordinarily, it proved the change in his character where if he's sitting on the table and you hit the knee and the knee goes, that character 10 years ago shoots that man without thinking. Yeah. But now because he's grown and he's changed, he stops. Mm -hmm. And it's the lesson of not only his character, but it's the lesson of, of the film yeah. of... Uh, violence only begets more violence. Yeah. So, and there, there's yeah. a bunch of other messages. I thought he did a really good job in, in terms because for for a, a, a while at the beginning, I was like, is this just going to be like a pro Hindu? Right. Like, well, I was a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I was like, is this going to just be about the Muslims or the bad people? Right. I was and really so, uncomfortable with at that. the beginning. I was like, because I'm not okay with that. Right. <laughs> Uh, but obviously, that's obviously not where it ended, and because you saw all. you saw these uh, Muslims that had lost people and that were that were hurting, and then you saw the the Hindus that were hurting. They've lost people as well on both sides. Yeah, they're just killing each other. Yeah, because when because there are stories where you are going to tell a true story, and somebody who was Hindu is the one who did the bad thing. Somebody who was Muslim was someone who did the bad thing, right? Yeah. But this story, especially within the context of what was going on in India with Gandhi and partition and all through that, uh, it I was glad that it did what history records, yeah. which is everybody died on both sides. Yep. Everybody was, and that's a lot of the reason why there was a lot of the time when Gandhi was fasting, say what you want about Gandhi, positive or negative. I know from what I know, the little I know about him was that it was any time people were fighting each other, whether it was his Muslims and Hindus, Hindus against Hindus, Muslims against Muslims, Gandhi was like, no violence. No, don't kill each other. Don't yeah. kill each other. Yeah. So I, I loved it. Yeah. So I, I, I really enjoyed it as well. I would watch it again. Absolutely. And I want to, now I'm excited for Kamal Hassan. Well, I know, I know he has a bunch. Yeah. Now uh, I'm excited. He does have that, that, uh, the one with Sri Devi as well, that, uh, the Sadma. Uh, and so let us know what the next Kamal Hassan film that we should watch. Uh, we loved, obviously, let see him flex his thespian muscles even yeah. more. Uh, we do enjoy that. Um, so let us know what's the next Kamal Hassan film we should watch down below. And also the next Tamil film. They might go hand in hand. Let us know down below. Mm -hmm.